What's going on guys? Jordan here coming back at you again with a brand new episode of Beer Views. Tonight we're going to be reviewing the Shiner Bach. This is a beer that I've always wanted to try and always wanted to review, but every time I'm in the store, I always see it. And I almost get it every single time. But then I always see something next to it that I would rather review instead. But today, I decided to finally pull the plug and pick it up. Now, I hate to do this, I really do, but I'm gonna, or it's not gonna get a 10, regardless of how good it is, because the ABV is not on the bottle and it's not on the packaging anywhere. I had, actually had to Google it. And the Google search returned 4.4%. However, Beer Advocate has it at 4.5%. I don't know which one's true. It's either 4.4 or 4.5. It's very disappointing that it's not on the bottle. So therefore, this beer is not gonna get a 10, regardless of how good it is because they can't do something as simple as put the ABV on the bottle. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, not exactly sure how to pronounce this, but this is the, it's the Spotzel, Spots, Spotzel Brewery. That's from Shiner, Texas, established in 1909. Uh, it says, every drop of Shiner is brewed in Shiner. Now, I did hear that this isn't a traditional Bach beer. This is their version and their little twist on it. So, we're going to try it out. I've never had it. I've seen several reviews of it, and I've always wanted to try it. So, tonight's the night. I'm finally going to get to taste this thing. I don't know if it's a twist off. It is a twist off. Got a new bottle cap for my collection. It's got like a, a ram on the front. That'll go in the collection. Wow. Smells kind of similar to a porter, a vanilla porter that I had recently. It smells pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead and get into the glass. A little swirly swirl. Try to produce a little bit of a head on it. Not much. Not much head. That's what she said. All right. So we got about a half a finger head on this thing. It's very deep amber, copper color. It's very sweet on the aroma. It smells pretty good. Wow, that head is just gone. That might be the way I poured it, but I even, you know, swirled it around and tried to produce a head, and that head is just gone. So, I mean, Appearance wise, not not the greatest, but that that could be my fault. I'm not sure, but I tried to produce a head on it, but it dissipated very quickly. It smells good. Uh, let's go ahead and get a taste of it and see what it's like. Cheers, guys. Wow, that's really really good. It's sweet. There's maltiness there. No bitterness that I can detect. Which I wouldn't expect this to be bitter anyway. Being a box style beer. I also paid uh, about 10 bucks for this too. Uh, at Walmart. That was after tax. It was like 940 something I think. It was a little over 10 bucks after I paid tax and everything. So. It's a pretty good beer. Uh, the only thing that I can say that I'm not impressed with is the, the lack of head. But then again, that could be my pouring. That could just be a me thing. And the fact that they don't put the ABV on the bottle. It's a pretty cool looking bottle too. It'll definitely be going in my collection. So that's gonna be a keeper. It's just, excuse me, hold on. Let's go back in for another sip. It's really, it's got a really nice aftertaste to it as well. It's a really, it's a really solid beer. This I would buy again. It's, it, it's, 
Now, I'm not saying that it was going to get a 10 before this. I don't think it's a 10 beer. I think it's a very good beer, though. It just sucks that I'm going to have to dock at a point regardless because, I mean, you got to put the ABV on your beers. I, I cannot stand when someone or a brewery or whatever doesn't put the, the ABV on the beer. It just doesn't make sense to me. You're buying a beer, you would want to know the ABV. And I'm even going to double check here and see if it's on here. There's a little story on the back that you can pause and read if you want to. I'm not going to read it right now. I'm looking for the ABV. It's not on here. It's got their area code on the bottom, Shiner, Texas, Spotsil Brewery. And then it says the ounces, 12 fluid ounce beer. And it does not say ABV anywhere on this bottle or the packaging. I looked. So it's it's anyway, it's either 4.4 or 4.5. So that's a bummer. I hate to do that because it is such a good beer, but I'm definitely not going to a point for it simply not having the ABV on there. And I hate to be that guy, but if I buy a beer, I want to know what the alcohol is in it. Because, you know, some people might be looking for something more. They might think that that's too little. That's perfect for me. It's right in my range that I like, but I don't know. The only reason I bought it is because I've seen so many good reviews about it, and I've, you know, seen it around. I wanted to try it. But, I mean, if I'm average consumer looking for a beer, looking for some beer for the weekend or whatever, I'm probably not, wouldn't pick it up because... I don't know what it tastes like, and I don't even know the ABV. And I know it's pretty simple to pick your phone up and Google, you know, the ABV on it, but I shouldn't have to do that. It should be already on the packaging at least, but it really should be on the bottle. But anyway, enough of my ranting. We'll go back, get another taste, and then I'll hit this with a review, a, a score, not a review. I'm doing a review right now. It's a good enough beer that regardless of it, it, it getting knocked a point, it's still going to get a pretty high score from me. I'll hit it with a solid 8.3 out of 10. Would have been a 9.3 if it had the ABB on the bottle or even on the packaging. They would have scraped by with just that. They didn't do that. Also, uh, knock it point two points for it not producing the great head now that could be me but i did swirl it and it still just didn't produce much of a head now a lot of people might say that's a little ridiculous why does it matter that it has a head i just like a head on a beer it, it, to me it gives it a little bit more flavor you know you taste the head separate from the beer it just gives it a little bit more character and it also just looks nicer i mean it's still a good beer I would buy this again. I'm glad I have five more in the fridge right now because this is it's going down smooth. It is a very smooth beer. Easy drinking, really good. But yeah, that's about it, guys. That's all uh, I really have to say about it right now. Just hopefully in the future they will think to put the ABV on the bottle. Now, I don't know if this is something that they just started doing or it's always been like that. Obviously, the packaging looks the same. Ever since I've known about it, it looks the same. So I doubt that, you know, it ever had the ABV on it. But that's something they should do. So anybody out there that works there, come on. Let's get the ABV on the bottle or at least the packaging. Because now I don't know if it's 4.4 or 4.5. I guess I should probably go to their website. Excuse me. So yeah, that's the Shiner Bach review here from Beer Views. Thank you guys for watching. If there's any beers or anything you guys want to see me try, uh, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to get to it as quickly as possible. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, until next time, cheers.